Jurassic World Dominion is now officially scheduled to have its first preview release on Tuesday, November 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The footage will be shown on NBC first before presumably being put available online, similar to how the company rolled out their 2019 short film, Battle at Big Rock. This footage comes complete with what was described as the first five minutes of the movie, as well as an additional dinosaur attack sequence that plays out in a montage fashion after the initial scene. Today, I'm going to go over the news in full, fill you in on what you need to know before it comes out, and how this will relate to future teasers, trailers, and other promotional material in the future. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So back in June of this year, Universal showed off some footage of Jurassic World Dominion exclusively before IMAX screenings of Fast and Furious 9. That footage was never officially released to the public until the news came that they're currently planning to put it out on the 23rd. Now, what's really interesting about this footage is that it's actually not the only footage that has been used to promote the film recently, since a full sizzle reel was also shown off to CinemaCon viewers a few months ago. And it featured different footage. Footage, namely, separate dinosaur attacks that involved raptors, Owen Grady on a horse chasing down dinosaurs, and all kinds of stuff all around the world, and even the return of the spitter, the Dilophosaurus. I kind of wish we got that, but what you can expect to see on the 23rd is more than likely going to be only the footage that got shown off ahead of IMAX screenings of Fast and Furious 9. However, I will say that this is probably a big deal, because that footage might not be included in the Dominion final release. While it was originally reported that this was the beginning of the next Jurassic Park movie, the fact that they've chosen to put it out on TV and the internet this far ahead of the release is leading some to believe that it could have been cut from the film in order to save runtime or just get something out to the fans in order to keep the buzz going around Dominion. Now, some of us have already seen the footage in IMAX, and I being one of them think that it's great to hear that it's coming out to a wider group of audience members, but I don't know how I feel about the possibility of it getting cut from the film. Without going too far into it, this footage actually details the origins of the original 1993 T-Rex right down to the mosquito that took its blood. And I kind of think it needs to be in the movie, unless they choose to open Dominion with what happens next, which is actually what I think they'll go ahead and do. We don't get to see all of that inside of this five minute preview, but what we do see is basically the 1993 Tyrannosaurus that escaped at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom attack a crowd of moviegoers at a drive-in while animal hunters are on its trail trying to track it down and take it out. That sequence is more than likely way longer than what the preview leads us to believe, so it could technically fill in for the beginning of Jurassic Park 6 if they choose to just turn the Cretaceous era bit into a short film of its own. And if you look at other Jurassic Park movies, the first film opens with a dinosaur attack, the second film opens with a dinosaur attack, the third film opens with a dinosaur attack, Jurassic Park 5 opened with a dinosaur attack, the only one that, well, I guess even Jurassic World did, because the Indominus killed its sibling. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so that might be what they choose to do. Speaking of which, if this part of the movie has been cut out, and don't worry, you're all gonna get a chance to see it very soon, I do wonder if that means that it technically becomes a short film in and of itself. I haven't seen a company do something like this since the prologue was cut out of Alien Covenant, and uh, it kinda needed to be an Alien Covenant, but if Universal wants to turn the Cretaceous scene into its own little story, I think that's kind of a good precedent for future Jurassic World movies, if we get more short films like that and battle at Big Rock in the future. It stands on its own in a pretty solid way in my opinion, and has some of the most animalistic realism that a Jurassic film has had since The Lost World, although the issues with the scientific accuracy of where the dinosaurs live during the Mesozoic is ridiculously fictional to put it mildly. That being said, I will gladly take this any day of the week over that awful Amber Society video they just released. If you haven't seen it, don't bother because it's one of the most cringy and inaccurate representations of the fan base or real people I think I've ever seen. Jurassic World Dominion's prologue is a well-shot cinematic beauty that treats dinosaurs like dinosaurs and feels like it came out of National Geographic. It's really well done, especially the Quetzalcoatlus. It's easily more iconic than Battle at Big Rock, and probably up there in quality with the filmmaking of some of the feature-length movies. That Amber Society video, though, feels like a Twitter thread brought to life, which I not only think turns normal people off from watching Jurassic Park stuff, but it makes it look like every fan is like the beta male goofy Lowry character, and dude, 
if you couldn't tell, I, I kind of hated that. <laughs> but anyways, the official preview of Jurassic World Dominion is going to be coming out in just a few days' time. Whether or not it's going to be in the final cut, who knows. But this new footage is going to be available for all to see before Thanksgiving and probably act as our first trailer in what would have been something different had it not been for the pandemic. Anyways, guys, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. Now, whatever yours might be, I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it really means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.